Alrighty. Well, it looks like it's just going to be me and my mom. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and oh, and Adam. <laughs> it's just Adam. Hi, Adam. <laughs> So hopefully somebody else will jump on here with us soon. But if not, uh, we're going to plug be listening to the replay tomorrow. <laughs> we're going to push ahead and go ahead and record the info that we have because um, it's some pretty cool stuff tonight. Um, mm -hmm. Starting out again, as we always do, with the vital behaviors of being a coach. Of, uh, sorry, Mo's messing with my feet. <laughs> Of uh, number one, invite, invite, invite. Doing what we do, don't push sales. Share your story. Invite people to start a journey of their own. Be a product of the product. Making sure that you're not just working out each day, but that you're developing your own story by picking a program that you want to do and doing it to completion and producing results. So that way you can show people that the products actually work. Um, Number three is personal development because you're not going to help anybody else unless you're helping yourself first. So you need to fill your own cup, whether it's something to help grow you internally through like self growth or, or like, like, like what I'm reading right now, I'm reading two different things. Like right now I'm reading the 15 invaluable laws of growth by John Maxwell. And of course we have the group gone may cause miracles. We've been a little quiet in it, but uh, we're all kind of absorbing it as we go. Or whether you do that or you read something like Mom's Reading and Eat That Frog, which is more business-oriented, so you learn how to grow your business. And then the fourth vital behavior that they just added, which is exciting, is recognition. Um, so just making sure you're recognizing the hard work you're putting in yourself, that you're showing up every day, but then you're also recognizing any challengers or people that are even taking the smallest steps to change their life, including coaches on your team. So yay! Yay, which I did tonight because uh, uh, because you had pointed out and I had noticed how Emmerine and her coach Becky have been killing some uh, some volume this month. So that was awesome. Awesome. Yay. And, um, we have a few people on the board too for Success Club, including Mom with four. Uh, we have uh, Sabra with two. I'm still sitting at two. And then one of Dana Pastor's coaches. Uh, who Rebecca, who's sitting on it too. And Chelsea, oh hi. <laughs> it's just going to be us three, uh, well, us four tonight. Yay. That's all right. Where two or more gathered. <laughs> um, we were just recapping the vital behaviors because um, like, we record all of our meetings so people can watch this tomorrow and be inspired by it. Um, other than that, like those are the, yeah, those are the vital behaviors. So uh, I wanted to pass it off to my mom to talk a little bit about what uh, Super Sunday was about, some of the information we got there, and why it's important to try to make it to live events. And, and before I do, uh, hi, Chelsea. I'm Patty. Hi. Oh, um, I thought you all met. Chelsea, this is mom. This is my mom, Patty. Hi, I'm mom. <laughs> <laughs> Have you joined since our Super Saturday, Super Sunday event? Have you heard of Super Saturday? The Super Sunday? That was just like a couple weeks ago or something? Yeah, yeah I knew about that. Okay, so I didn't know if you went to it or if you were... No, no she was working. I wasn't able to. Oh, uh, where do you live at? Uh, New Albany. Oh, very good. Very yeah. excellent. Yeah, we, I live in Leavenworth. My husband and I live down the road a little ways. Well, we have... Um, our quarterly face-to-face -face meetings, and nationally they're called Super Saturdays because I believe the mass majority of teams, uh, localities gather on Saturdays, but Louisville and our uh, Louisville Marketing Council uh, have decided that Sundays are a better fit for our particular area, so that's what we do. We have our Super Sunday event. Um, these are our, are our quarterly face-to-face -face training focused team meetings. It's a time that um, we take a look at recent accomplishments and celebrate what's gone on, but we also look forward uh, to the next quarter of activity. Uh, some of the highlights are uh, a video uh, uh, and news from corporate. It's always kind of fun. They're lighthearted fellows and they get on there and they banter a lot, but they bring us uh, both some great recognition, um, share some wonderful stories, and then give us some exciting 
uh, new key announcements that will be helping us for our next 90 days. Um, but, you know, aside from that, you know, which is all great, one of the things that uh, I find is very powerful about our meetings is that, you know, what we do as coaches is very insular. You know, we do it at home in front of our little computer and we're kind of focused this way and we're thinking and we're typing and we might, if we're uh, fortunate each day, have some very personal one-on-one -on -one connections with people. But a lot of times we're just putting our story out there and we're putting things out there and it's going out into the universe and we hope it sticks somewhere uh, and, and we can feel sort of isolated sometimes. Um, and one of the things I love about these team meetings is that it's a time to come together, see the other faces behind some of our other inspirational coaches that we might follow to see, you know, how they're doing it. We get to put a face with that name on the, on the computer. Uh, we get to hear their stories. We get to feel a little bit more on common ground with them, I think, as well, because not everybody goes, rolls out of bed in the morning and hits SC10 right off the bat in the first 10 minutes and, and then whips out their workout and then looks beautifully quaffed and, 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 and rolls out beautiful videos all day. I mean, it's work for everybody. And we all have our good days and we all have our bad days. And so it's good to see the reality of that, to feel the connectivity with other like-minded and like-focused people that are out there striving to do the same thing we are. I mean, after all, we were customers, we were challengers once ourselves. We all had a, a foot in that door initially. And, um, and now we're here because we want to share what that experience has meant to us, uh, bringing that change into other people's lives. So I love that that connectivity is there and it kind of uh, sets aside that two dimensionality that Facebook and the way that we communicate with people can often be. Yes, it's a bit of a cheerleading event, but that's okay. It's, it's fun to get together and rally and cheer and hoo-ha and be silly. Our local uh, theme was a work, our workout theme was based on 22 minute hardcore and they sported some really great basic training boot camp style uh, wear and share, which was a lot of fun. But we also had a theme from corporate, uh, which was called getting results. And what that was all about was to help our challengers or our customers get the results that they're looking for that they've seen witnessed in us you know we're out there talking and showing our results and and they're they're wanting some of that for their labs they're they're so hopeful coming into that and we are there not just to sell them something like Jason said at the beginning we're there to offer them hope and to show them how they can follow in those same steps and get these results so we keep up with follow-up it's such a very basic thing, but it's something that we all can maybe tend to drop the ball on um, after a time or two. You know, you have a challenge group and everybody goes quiet and you're it's like pulling teeth trying to get interaction and you even message out to them and, you know, you think you're not being hurt or affected, but you are. So let me say that first of all, you might not realize how effective you're reaching out and trying to touch base with people is but it's effective it's powerful to people um, i just recently signed on a challenger who i've been talking with for 10 months 10 months she reached out to me last summer and kept coming back to me and i'd reach back out to her and it wasn't until now that she was really ready and um you know I, I told her i was thankful she wasn't ready to throw a pie in my face for continually trying to harass her into buying something but she's she said no that wasn't the case at all she was thankful i didn't give up on her and i hear that so often thanks for not giving up on me thanks for waiting thanks for being patient it has to be on their time frame so don't give up on people whether they are your current challengers or whether they are your potentials um, there was a very interesting little graphic put out and Erica Massey shared a video about this too, about um, um, the effectiveness of, of continuing that follow-up that only 3% of sales are made at the second contact. 80% of sales are made in the fifth to 12th contact. 
So that is so very powerful, 80%. So you don't ever want to give up on people. Uh, you know, does that mean you're ringing the doorbell every night? No, it's not. Uh, there, there are trainings and, and things that we can do to talk about how to have our approach with people, uh, but, uh, and, you know, following your own instinct too, but still, you don't give up on folks, not until they really slam that door and say, get off my back and don't come back anymore. But, um, you know, that's the, the only way you can help people get results is if they're your challengers. So don't give up on people. That was um, my biggest takeaway that day. And it continues to be my the most powerful training tool to me is when I have people say, thanks for not giving up. Thanks for continuing to reach out to me. So um, never underestimate the value of that uh, attempt and that uh, reaching out to people. Uh, I asked my husband, who was there Sunday, too, uh, what one of his biggest takeaways from the day was. And uh, I think one of the things he really appreciated was that we weren't all, of course, I was. I'm, I'm buff and, you know, I look like a beach body model. Of course I do. Now, he, he was saying everybody just looked so real. They looked like normal people just really, you know, trying to make a great life for themselves physically and, and, and health-wise and happy folks and they're ready to help. He said, we saw all shapes and sizes of people and, and really found that striking and a value to him. Uh, because I do think, you know, the name Beachbody sounds kind of, um, I don't know, from a 55 year old perspective, it's, yeah, I, I work for Beachbody. <laughs> but um, but it, it, I, I think it speaks well to know that we're all this normal people doing the best we can for ourselves and seeking to bring that value to other people's lives as well. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of it in a nutshell, Jason, I didn't catch the August date of the next one. It, it is after summit, right? Well, I think it's August 6th, like what's okay. August 6th or 7th. Okay. But, um, I think you're the, right. The council may or may not push it back a week since it is the, the weekend right after summit. And um, a lot of the market council, like Nikki and Brooke, are due around the same time. So, oh, okay. um, so they'll all have newborns. So it may stick with that date, or the Louisville one may be pushed back. But nationally, uh, if you don't live in the Indiana, Kentucky area, um, definitely get August 6th and or 7th on your calendar and um, <clears throat> find a local event close to you. There you uh, go. The only other big announcement that they made was obviously Success Club is what we try to hit, hit every single month and what that's what our attainable goal is each month, uh, yeah. just by helping three people. Um, and in turn, they have the Success Club trip every year. Um, this year it was the cruise, next year it's to Punta Cana, which if you're not on the waiting list, get on it now. Um, because chances are you'll be invited off of it. I've I had friends that were like, Four number four thousand on the wait list last year for the cruise, and they got invited off of it last minute and were able to go. So you just never know if you're able to go. Um, but with that, Success Club should be your monthly go to goal to achieve it. Um, in past years, it used to be that they would just have a day that you would register for the Success Club trip, and it was first come first serve. And then throughout that year, um, you had to meet goals in order to keep your spot and then if you ever didn't meet your goal you would actually be dropped off the trip they're kind of reversing it for the 2018 trip in that in all of 2017 instead of just having one general open date to register you'll be invited to register for the 2018 trip based upon what you do uh this year um in like earning success club each month. So again, just making sure that if you're hitting that goal each month, then you're going to be rewarded for it. Uh, not even just to mention like this month, I think they're giving away like the Shakeology apron, but they're also giving away the opportunity to at summit to get a fast pass to where you can bypass a lot of the lines and be one of the first people to go shopping at the core, which is amazing. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of really, really cool stuff with that. Um, so yeah, definitely just making sure that if you, no matter how big or small your goal is, whether if it's a, a hundred bucks a month 
to earning a full-time income, starting and ending with Success Club, and not just waiting till the end of the month every single year to, to strive for it is a, a great, great goal to push for. So. It is. Um, so after that, the biggest thing coming up next that I wanted to touch on is Summit because um, actually this coming Monday, April 18th, is the open registration for Summit. Um, so for those that are either already have tickets or those on the wait list, if you're on the wait list, keep checking uh, your email because they are slowly sending out um, invitations and inviting people to, to get their tickets as well. Um, but I did want to share my screen and just kind of walk through with you all the, the summit guide. So that way um, you kind of know what to expect whenever it comes to registration and all of that fun stuff. And just to give you a glimpse into what summit's going to be. So I'll share my screen really quick. So let's see. So first of all, like if you are invited to summit, you'll get an email from Team Beachbody. Um, and uh, of course it says save the date, uh, registration April 18th. Um, but you'll definitely like save emails from Team Beachbody or read them all the way through because what a lot of people overlooked that got to do early registration is they just threw the email away. But the email actually has your personal code in it in order to register. Um, so definitely save emails, things like that. Don't just kind of like glance through it or read the title and throw it away because uh, it does have important information on it. So once the link or once registration actually starts, they do have an online guide. Move this over a little bit. Um, but basically the way Summit works is Thursday is um, more just of a general day. They do have some of the celebrity trainer workouts. And then Thursday evening is they have the first general session, which is more of like a giant party at the stadium down there. They do a lot of like uh, launches and celebrations and fireworks and things like that. Um, Friday is the big workshop day. Um, so you have your general session, whether in the morning or the afternoon, depending on which track you select, which we'll talk about tracks in a minute. Um, then you have your training workshops that you select. You have your celebrity trainer workouts if you do one. And then uh, that evening, depending on like where you fall on the, on the leadership ladder or if you've earned the success club party, you'll be able to go to that that evening. Um, Saturday is another, uh, is another um, workshop day. Um, that morning is so much fun because it's a super workout. We take up the entire main street in Nashville. And it's really cool. <laughs> we can work out with over 20,000 people. It was awesome. And you get to work out with every single trainer. Like every beach body trainer takes a turn getting up, getting up on stage and uh, you get to work out with them. <clears throat> and then uh, you end that night with the celebration, uh, which again, like the opening general session is just like a giant party. Um, so really from Thursday until Saturday night, it's one giant whirlwind. You get to meet so many people, learn, learn a ton and, uh, go from there. Uh, now just to go a little bit deeper, uh, the, the track guide, the way that they organize it is you get to select, there it is. No, there it is. You get to select a track, um, and you'll get a little wristband, and those are the classes that you'll take. So there's either going to be a blue or a silver track, which on this little guide, would, if you go to the, the coachsummit.com uh, website, uh, you can view it there. Just go to agenda, and then the summit uh, track guide there. Um, but it literally lists, like, even in the blue track and the silver track, you'll have a couple different options. Um, but it's really cool because some of the different halls do have a couple different um, topics that people are speaking on. And each track will also have a many different, um, like, top coaches speaking on those things. So what I always encourage everybody to do that goes to Summit is, yes, it's great to see everybody and hang out. Um, but you're really going to develop yourself and to develop your business. So if you see a track, 
that you want to do, then follow your gut instinct and go at that track. I mean, because we're all going to see each other at some point during the weekend. Um, so it's okay if we're not all on the same track. I'm actually myself leaning towards um, the blue track with uh, Hall D, um, mainly because like I'll get to listen to like Raina O'Dell. Um, Stephanie Chico is my coach. Nikki's uh, upline coach. Uh, Jen Richardson's really awesome too. Um, Danielle Natoni is in a lot of the Insanity videos. Uh, and Julie Boris is actually from Indiana, and she's really cool. I got to hear her speak last time. Um, but as you can see, like some of the, the bigger differences is like in this one, you get uh, creating your personal brand with Amy Silverman and Bonnie Engel, or this one you get finding your passion, creating life, life of significance, um, and things like that. The great thing about Summit is you never have to feel like you're missing out because every single thing is recorded. So say that you pick Hall D, Blue Track, well, then say I wanted, because I do want to hear what Bonnie Engel has to say too. All of these are going to be recorded, and after Summit, they'll be uploaded to Beachbody, and um, you'll be able to watch all of the, the things that you weren't able to see live there. Um, so there's the blue track. Uh, again, there's the silver track. The main difference between the blue and the silver track are the times. There's a, uh, the silver track are all morning classes, and uh, the blue track is all afternoon classes. Um, <clears throat> so definitely go to the website and check it out uh, before Monday just to kind of see what track and which classes you want to take. Um, seeing they kind of break it down here as well between blue and uh, blue and silver uh, because whenever one track is in their individual classes, the other track is at the stadium going through the big general session, listening to the keynote speakers and everything like that. And then you kind of uh, flip flop there. Um, let's see. The other big thing that they changed this year is um, last year you, we were able to select two celebrity trainer workouts this year because there are, I think, more than double the amount. Well, maybe not double, but there's a lot of people. Um, oh, come on. Uh, more people coming this year. Everybody gets to choose one celebrity trainer um, class to work out in. Um, so again, follow your heart. Follow who you want to work out with. Um, there's You'll get an opportunity to work out with the new trainers, Joel and Jericho. They're actually from the Les Mills family. They stuck around with Beachbody um, after Les Mills kind of uh, split. Um, you, yeah, there's, you get to choose from like Sagi from Autumn, Joel and Jill, Jericho, Shaleen, uh, Tony. Um, Sean T's not on it this year because he is traveling for work, so he actually won't be there this year, which kind of sucks, but um, he kind of put out a statement that hey, he's going to miss everybody. Um, I, I'm actually, personally, just so everybody knows my choices, so again, I'm leaning towards Hall D Blue Track. And I'm probably going to do the Shalene Johnson Turbo Fire workout because uh, Shalene, I didn't get to work out with her last year. Um, and I don't know much about Joel and Jericho yet, so I'm gonna, I'm personally choosing Shalene because I really want to work out with her. Um, and then as far as like where you're going to stay, um, we actually rented um, a smaller home on Airbnb. Uh, but there are still hotels available if you're able to go. Um, and don't forget, too, if you are of diamond status by, by Summit, um, I'm actually mm -hmm. gifting $150 towards your trip that you can use however you want. Uh, but the extras include, like, if you do stay at a hotel that's a little bit further away, um, you can pay um, to utilize the shuttle schedule and have free transportation all weekend from your hotel to where everything is. Um, and then they also offer daily box lunches too. If you um, don't want to like run out to a restaurant in between um, sessions and everything. But one thing that we noticed last year, cause I did the box lunches last year cause I had no idea what to expect. Um, Nashville has a huge food truck industry. 
So there was actually a ton to choose from very, very quickly. And actually a lot of the food honestly looked a little bit more delicious and maybe cheaper, maybe cheaper too, because the box lunch is here, $18 a bo- uh, yeah. per lunch. Yeah. Um, so there were a ton of food trucks um, available, like just right outside the doors as well. So that's something to think about. Um, but other than that, like I said, definitely just kind of prepare yourself. If you haven't been invited off the wait list yet, don't give up hope because mm-hmm. like I said, they're constantly invited, um, inviting people out as well. Um, but prepare yourself because as soon as you're invited and you get your ticket, you'll probably be asked to register right then and there. Um, and set yourself up good to go. So um, there's a whole bunch of just like, yeah, just really good things coming. Um, the only thing I'm not really seeing on here yet is who the, the keynote speakers are. So let's see who they are. Uh, we have Gary. <laughs> um, the, um, Chuck. Yeah. the keynote speakers last year were actually my favorite people because we got to hear from like Simon Sinek and all of the, um, just he was just absolutely amazing um let's see so it looks like he's the main keynote speaker uh let's see so he grew a business from three million to 60 million in just five years so basically he's going to offer us some really good business advice it looks like sorry i'm just kind of really cool so yeah, definitely check it out. Um, you go to it's www.coachsummit.com or coachsummit2016.com um, and it brings you here. Oh, never mind. Here it is. Yeah. Well, how do you get rid of this thing? Oh, there it is. Coachsummit2016.com. Um, it brings you to this first page here. Uh, like I said, if you're not on the wait list, get on the wait list now. If you want to look at hotels, here's lodging and travel. You can look at hotels there. Um, look at the agenda. Um, and if you want to look at the tracks, like I said, click on agenda and then track summit selection there. So cool. Yay. Um, and more than just business. What is going on with my computer? <laughs> Anyway, um, more than just business related, like it really was personally, internally changing a lot because as much as Beachbody likes to focus on personal development, the majority of the weekend to me felt like just a giant personal development weekend. It re-sparked my fire and just got everybody up and going. So if you can go make it a priority and go plus whatever you spend is a tax write off. <laughs> if you do your taxes right, which I did. that's true. Um, and moving forward with the team, the only other big announcement that I had left was, um, our team is constantly growing and people are pushing for different goals and everything like that. And just where I'm headed in my own personal business, because I'm no different from anybody else on the team. Like, we're all doing the exact same work. Um, It just depends on how hard we're pushing each day and what our own individual goals are. But one of the things that I want to do better is serve the coaches on the team that are in it to push for their own goals and coaches that are hungry. I know that... um, I check in with everybody or I try my best to check in with everybody. Um, But going forward, like for the coaches that are actively working towards goals, no matter how big or small, if you're working towards it and basically you're going to earn my attention. Um, The best way I can put it is like what Nikki tells us. She says, I'm going to match effort with effort. If you're showing me like, if you want to earn a hundred bucks a week, or if you want to do what I do and earn thousands of dollars a week, if you're putting in the effort and showing up each day and reaching out or checking the team page, and I can see that you're doing some things and you're going to catch my attention and I'm going to reciprocate that same effort. Um, like I said, the team's just reaching a size where it's harder for me to try to, and I don't want to pull anybody along. I want, 
people to come along with me and um, we help each other as we move up. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to be working on is kind of like a, um, a coach accountability form almost that just like I'm going to kind of create it and then send it out to everybody. That way we can kind of dig deep. It'll help you kind of look at yourself. Like what, what are my true goals? What do I want to achieve with this? Um, and what kind of time and what kind of effort is going to be required of me? And am I actually doing that? Um, like one of the big ones that I've been talking to a lot of people about lately is Facebook in general and social media. I mean, as a coach, Facebook is now our place of business and that's the mind shift change that you almost have to make, um, which is totally fine if you have a separate work page versus your personal page. But if you're combining them at all, you just have to think of the image that you're putting out and um, the message that you're sharing as well. So if somebody goes to your Facebook page or if you go to your own Facebook page and you sit there and you really look at it, will somebody, one, be able to tell that you're a Beachbody coach within the first five to ten seconds? And two, will they be able to know that they could reach out to you and either do what you do or be invited to start changing their lives either in a challenge group or as a coach as well. Um, so like I said, it's totally fine to have your own separate personal page. If you want to share like the, the funny or the raunchy or any type of kind of post and things like that. But, um, definitely just think of the voice that you have on Facebook and what you're putting out each day as well. So that's just one simple thing to kind of look at yourself and uh, evaluate. So I'm really excited about these forms. Um, I'm working on them and hopefully I'll get them done within the next week or so. They'll just be a little online form to plan. Um, the other thing too, as I posted the other day that I created a permanently open glance in the coaching group, I can share that link again. Um, glance groups again, like what I posted about, they are a great tool and source of information, but they don't need to be, a requirement or the only thing that you rely on in order to grow your business. Um, when people sign on to join your team, they're not signing on solely because of the information that you give them. They're signing on because they trust you. They see the leader within you and they want to specifically join your team and work alongside you. So having those one-on-one -on -one conversations, either getting people on the phone, meeting people for coffee, um, or just that personal connection establishing first and foremost. Um, and then if they have any, if they want the more details into coaching, that's when the glance group, glance group comes into um, like a good utilization to kind of almost give people that the more technical information versus the more emotional um, things like that. So I can share that link again. That way you all can add yourself into it. And then once you've started conversations with people, um, if we don't have an event actually planned, you can add them into that group. And it's kind of like a self-guided group. All the posts are numbered and all of that good stuff. Um, other than that, the other cool thing is I'm sure you saw is that now you can actually go live on Facebook. Um, not just on your personal page, but in group pages as well. Um, so here and there, like I'm still learning the ins and outs of it, but I think it would be really cool to do like a live team power hour one day or a live Q and a, like, like mom said, like these direct um, meetings where we get to hang out and talk and be with each other are absolutely amazing. So why not try to do it more often? So, um, just keep your eyes open in the team page because here and there, like if I have time, I might announce like, Oh, a live Q and a session, like just open discussion, whatever y'all want to talk about. And you all can type questions. We can interact and um, chat that way. So I am excited about just where the team's headed. I know Chelsea's halfway to Emerald and pushing really hard. Yay. Yay. Hey, girl. <laughs> Awesome, Chelsea. Before, Chelsea. Ryan. <laughs> right. And it comes and that and honestly somebody what did somebody say the other day? Um asked somebody how they were doing and they responded with my responses getting there. 
And I was like, yeah. I think I've heard like my dad or her mom or somebody say once before that it was like, that should be our family motto. We're just getting there. Yeah. And that's sure. the truth of anything. So we're all just getting there just day by day. And like that to me was one of my biggest struggles in the beginning was I was seeing the success that a whole lot of other coaches were having and how quickly they were growing their businesses and everything. But my thing is that if you want it bad enough and you're showing up each day, even just to take that one tiny baby step, it is going to happen. You're going to find the people that want to be part of your team. You're going to find people that want to build a business and not just step in half heartedly and then kind of fizzle out. Um, Cause more than just, helping our challengers and running challenge groups and everything like that um, to create a long standing like withholding business. It takes finding the people that want to continue changing their lives and becoming a coach and paying it forward and helping other people too. So um, yeah. that's all I have for tonight. That's There's good. a couple minutes left. Anybody have anything else they want to say? Have any questions? <laughs> no, although I was, I re found that link from Nikki where she posted on um, organizational binder. Because yeah. that is something I struggle with is organizing. And uh, I end up relying on the thread of my messages to figure out, okay, who did I say two days ago? I get back and I'm scrolling to look for that message and then reading everything. Yeah. Um, and it's such a very basic thing um, uh, with a binder and 30, 31 tabs, one for every day of the month. And uh, that way she can write a challenger's name, of, you know, on each page and even include coaches. If you've got a small enough team, I got to do right now, obviously. Um, so, so at least you can go today. If today's the 13th of the month, I can go to the 13th tab and see who I've got there to make that personal contact with, to follow up with. Um, if, and I guess I could do that the same with my potentials. Mm -hmm. um, well, Jason, I think, has a better way to do it with potentials on his calendar. Mm -hmm. Not really. But <laughs> I'm still learning. Anybody, any, any little helpful hint to get organized is something I'm needing. But it, it does need to be basic for me. And yeah. I end yeah. up really liking pen and paper yeah. the yeah. very best anyway. Um, well, I can show you something in two seconds that uh, the other day in the Push to Emerald group, Carly Wood, did, Carly Wood did a live power hour, and she shared a little nugget that she's been doing from the beginning and didn't think much of it, but kind of blew everyone's minds on Facebook. Um, so here, let me share, because we have a couple minutes left. All right, so share screen. So say you come to Facebook. And she said, instead of just aimlessly scrolling and hoping that you find the people that you're looking for or by looking up each person one by one, she utilizes, um, let's see, where is that? Friends. Under friends, yep, more. Yep. yep, you go to friends, you go to more, and then you can create a list of people. So she has a list created like that just says challenger prospects so so now you have a list of of challenger prospects so and now you can go through and anybody that you've been talking to whether you've sent them one message or you just sent them a friend request anybody that you've been talking about joining your group you can add them to this list and um it'll end up like this like here because some of these are already created. So like these are all of the people that I work with at Jay Nicole. It brings up all of their posts that you can just kind of scroll through and you know that by interacting with anybody on this post that they're already interested in your challenge groups, you've been chatting with them. And then that way too, fate, the way Facebook works is whenever you interact with them, you show up in their newsfeed. If you don't interact with them, even if it's little, is you, if you go two days without any interaction at all, Facebook starts slowly weeding you out of their, their newsfeed. Um, so that is a little nugget that I thought was really cool. And that like, if there is someone that you're 
that you've been pursuing either as a customer or as a coach, just make that as part of, part of your power hour. Um, purposefully go to their page. And even if it's something as a like on their page, just once a day, like that is something to keep them, to keep you in their newsfeed enough. Hi, little cat. <laughs> Sorry, that's Brewster. Moe's been down playing with my feet the whole time, so. But, I've yeah. got one running around in here somewhere myself, so. Yeah, but I just thought that that was a really cool, like, organizational tip in actually using the list feature on Facebook um, for either your challengers or potential coaches. That way you're just not scrolling through everybody on Facebook. Because that's the other thing, too, is a lot of my Facebook posts, like in my general news feed, are all other coaches. So right. just, you almost have to weed out of people, like, um, in order to get to the people that you want uh, their attention. So I um, think that's brilliant. Yeah. So I like that. Um, I'm excited today because I bought two three day refreshes and two ultimate reset kits. Lord have mercy, honey. Oh, and and <laughs> Hey, are you going to start May 1st with Darren Oline? Oh, I don't know. I need to look at my calendar. I just went ahead and ordered them. But that's what I'm going to be focusing on for. for I'm considering doing it, yeah. which is a big deal for me to consider yeah. doing it. It's, it's good. I highly recommend it. Everybody needs to experience it at least once. So. Hey, well, Jody wants to do it too. So I'll probably run a little push to try to get people in, interested in that while it's on sale. Yeah. And... Um, um, well, it's going to kick us off here in any okay. second. So, Bye. It, 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 you all. <laughs> Thank Bye. you for helping out, Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Bye. Bye.